do we see as literature? Why do we read? When you go to a bookshop, what makes you choose a specific book? How can we write about prose without falling into modern bias constructed around the idea of the novel? How can we truly decolonize our understanding of literature? My name is Laura Moretti, and my work on early modern Japanese literature with a focus on popular prose addresses these and other meaningful questions in the study of literature. Early modern Japanese literature is a truly fascinating field of studies, galvanized by a thriving commercial publishing industry and fueled by the spread of basic literacy across society. It offers a wide gamut of texts that challenge our understanding of the literary. And this is one of the main reasons I delight in working on early modern materials. They resist our modern, too often Eurocentric expectations vis-a-vis -vis literature. And they ask us to revision the very act of reading. They constantly push us outside our comfort zone, asking us to devise new methodologies to effectively probe an impressive corpus of under-researched uh, texts. Now, my uh, research interests uh, revolves around uh, several uh, trajectories. My latest project culminated in the first comprehensive study of the birth of Japanese commercial publishing in 17th century Japan. In Pleasure in Profit, I question traditional literary histories of this period and explore how vernacular popular prose tantalized consumers with vital ethical, religious, societal, and interpersonal knowledge. This monograph explores books as tools for knowledge making, arguing that they engaged their audience cognitively as well as aesthetically and emotionally to satisfying a burgeoning curiosity about the world. Crucially, I argue that readers experienced entertainment within the didactic, finding pleasure in the profit gained from acquiring knowledge. Now, alongside this core argument in Pleasure in Profit, I explore modes of reading different from the more conventional aesthetic reading and contribute to conversations around making the study of literature truly democratic. I am equally interested in the process of canon making and have explored how classical tales were appropriated in early modern times. Recasting the past looks at how the 10th century, the tales of Ise, was were adapted in the 18th century to fit the new medium of yellow cover picture books and was refashioned to meet new cultural needs. You can hear more about this in a video produced by the Daiwa Foundation. I've also been exploring how certain texts worked like a story world probing to what extent the concept of transmedia storytelling can prove fruitful in untangling what seems to be a propensity for intertextual serializations. I am currently starting a new project that explores how early modern ephemeral books were conceived to enable what I tentatively call playful reading. I am keen to understand if theoretical approaches developed in the field of game studies, for example, can help us engage with the invitation to play that a vast amount of materials offer. Now, my research is deeply rooted in working with archival material in their original format. All my graduate students are trained to produce intellectually sophisticated arguments, grounding them on the close reading of early modern books and their materiality. I am also committed to help training a new generation of scholars who can access early modern texts without any mediation in the form of diplomatic transcriptions or critical editions. I believe that this is the key to reshape the early modern canon. To do so, Every year I run the summer school in Japanese early modern paleography and you're invited to read more on the dedicated website. My current graduate students are working on exciting projects 
and you can hear more about some of them in a video recently produced for my YouTube channel, Japanese Early Modern Paleography. So, if you are passionate about early modern Japanese literature, if you're keen to be trained in challenging received views by working on a wide range of archival materials, then our program is the right one for you. Do get in touch via email with your research project and we can start a fruitful dialogue. Thank you.